This week, a mother in Whittier was left shaken up when robbers broke into her home in the middle of the night. This, along with several other recent home invasions, has many of us asking how we can best protect ourselves in our own homes. Joining us now to talk more about this is Don Moore. He's the president of More Protection Home Security, also a certified protection professional. Uh, welcome. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you. So let's just get right to it. What is the number one thing you as a homeowner can do to avoid being a victim of a home invasion, as, especially given that a lot of these home invasions, the, the robbers seem to be disabling the security systems? Uh, disabling security systems is somewhat of a myth. Very inexpensive Wi-Fi reliant systems can be disabled, but a traditional hardwired security system is very difficult to disable. But not everyone can afford an alarm system. There are many common sense things that you can do around your house to harden the target. Harden the target is a trite phrase. What it means is just make it harder for a bad guy to get into your house. And the easiest way I think to do that is to go outside and pretend you've locked your keys inside. Mm. How, how would you get into the house? You're gonna look for the easiest way. You're gonna look for the way that the neighbors won't see you so you won't be embarrassed. A bad guy's gonna look, not wanna be seen by the neighbors for obvious reasons. So you're gonna know if there's a window in the back that doesn't quite lock well enough, you know where that is. He'll find it, the bad guy will find the soft spot. So walk around your house and find those soft spots and physically strengthen them, whether it's with screws or nails or window pins or what have you, it doesn't have to be an expensive solution. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you because I've heard, you know, people put those wood blocks in their windows to make sure that they don't open all the way. There are screws and different things. Are there really cheap and very effective ways of solidifying your home? I, I've heard from police officers before, just get a dog. Have a dog in the house that can bark or at least the noise of a dog. Well, a, a dog, a territorial dog is good for home security when you're at home because if someone's skulking around the outside of the property, the dog will sense it and start barking and the, the person outside will hear it and probably leave. Dogs are not great to prevent empty home burglaries because burglars don't care about dogs, they'll break in anyway, unless it's a really professionally trained attack dog. Even, even an aggressive dog can be um, neutralized by you know, a, a spray can of 409 under the sink. You spray the dog in the eyes and put him in the pantry. But dogs are good for when you're there. But to your point about hardware things, <laughs> hardware is the answer. Go to a hardware store and that most of them will have a security aisle. You can find window pins and uh, bully locks that keep sliding windows from opening. They look like the things that jewelers use on their, on their display cases. There's a hundred things you can do around your home that don't cost a lot. And if you do 50 of them and your neighbor does none, the neighbor's gonna get hit. So, you know, it's, it's like everything else in society, take care of yourself first and then help your neighbors and go out in concentric circles, you know after your home is secured to your satisfaction, start a neighborhood watch if there isn't one already. If there is one already, join and get active and get your neighbors to be aware of what's going on in the neighborhood. And you can push crime away. And before we let you go, what if you do find yourself in the middle of a home invasion? What's your advice? Well, I would back up and say, let's not get in the middle of a home invasion by making it hard for somebody to come in. I also recommend that everyone, like a fire drill, do a home invasion drill. Oh. And whether, whether you're a single person or a family, coach everyone into what they will do. If you hear voices in the house when there shouldn't be voices in the house, or if you hear breaking glass, what are you going to do? A simple solution is for every master bedroom door to have a deadbolt lock on it. So you, you create somewhat of a panic room without all the expense of steel doors and magnetic locks. But if you're in the middle of a home invasion, it depends on what the perpetrator is acting like. If he's calm and just wants stuff, then cooperate. If he looks like he could be violent, you gotta be prepared to defend yourself. These are all such common sense things, but I think it's really important to reinforce. Don, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. My pleasure, have a good day. You too.